was I put my other glasses on. <laughs> I don't recognise my own face. Right, so I hope you're well, everybody. It's me, Grace Bag Lady. So it's Sunday morning. It's 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. I've got Dolly jumping at my feet. <laughs> so we've got all bright and early because we've got some pest control people coming to sort out our wasp nest in my spare room in the attic a bit. And they were supposed to be here at half past nine, so we got all got ready, got dressed. Got everything cleared out of the room and then at nine o'clock they messed us saying they weren't coming. <laughs> so we've had to get back on the phone, doing reviews, research, and we've managed to find another gentleman that fingers crossed will come this afternoon. We have everything crossed. I really want them to come and sort it out because we've already had a wasp in my sewing room. I was trying to do <clears throat> my makeup this morning and then I heard and there was one flying around in my sewing room. It's like, oh, you really don't want it, do you? So, fingers crossed, they come today. I have everything crossed. Let's hope by the time this video finishes that we're all wasp free and sorted. And there's my breakfast. So for breakfast this morning, we've got wheat bit. It's chopping on there, so I have to put the milk on it, let it go a bit soft, and then eat it to look after my bawly mouth. Right, let the boring jobs begin. So boring jobs, wash up, empty dishwasher, empty bins. Um, and then wait, wait and wait and wait, and hopefully the wasp man will come. Yeah, I'm about to go through the tip as well. Just nothing exciting, just hoping the wasp man comes. Right, let's tackle these jobs. So, my husband's gone to the tip to get rid of some rubbish, so let's get some good music on a thing, inspire us a bit, and let's hope we don't wake the wasps up because the music's too loud. <laughs> got to half past 11 i can't believe it's only half past 11 because obviously we normally have like a line on a sunday so i forgot to show you i did order this the other day uh because obviously i read the other book by her and it was so good um so i've ordered this can't wait to start it i'm just finishing another book at the minute which is a bit boring but you know when you get halfway through and you think oh, i might as well carry on but i can't wait to start this one Oh, we've now got a fly bothering us <laughs> <laughs> welcome to jane's pet Pet prevention. <laughs> oh, honestly, I gave up today. My husband says, oh, I'll open the windows, let some fresh air in. So I've opened the windows and I've got loads of flies. Oh, it smells lovely outside. It's been raining. So you've got like that rainy, sunshiny smell. It smells so nice. I'm sure the plants look better when it rains. It makes everything flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just not normal, are you, Dolly? You're not going to wee, are you? Don't wee on my carpet. I worry when it starts sniffing. I don't know what it's doing. Hello. Ooh, outside fun. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to be that young and have that much energy? <laughs> Dolly's ready for a dinner. And when she's ready for a dinner, she's absolute such a wally. She's been running round and round and round in circles. Woo! <laughs> Dolly, you are so funny. Leave Winifred alone. 
<laughs> you've got Florence on the sofa like, what on earth are you doing? <laughs> no, leave that, leave Winifred. No, no. <laughs> That's it, you look at each other through the glass. That's a very good idea. Aww, that's so cute. She's giving up. <laughs> she can't run anymore. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to dinner time. So for dinner say, I've got seafood sticks, little tomatoes, mackerel in olive oil, and some little cracker things, which are these Tesco ultra grain crackers. They're quite soft, so they don't hurt my mouth when I eat them. So off to enjoy it. Right, while you're waiting for the boss man to come, we're playing darts. Miniature darts, may I add. <laughs> it's quite entertaining. Just checking. They're still there. Ooh. Hurry up, wasp man. So, we're just hiding in here. <laughs> lipstick of the day. I thought we'd put some lipstick on while they're waiting. So, lipstick of the day today is one of the new Avon lip balms. So, so moisturising. They're so lovely. And the colour of this one is nude. I hope it's okay up there. I'm so worried. I'm trying not to be, I'm trying to remain calm and do normal things. It's just so horrible though, it's just so scary. And I'm worried about all my stuff upstairs because it's going to use like an aerosol to like not like make them dopey and stuff. And oh, I hope it doesn't smell. And the new lip balms are available in my little Avon shop. They are so, so lovely, so moisturising, make your lips feel wonderful. And look at my nails as well. I'm trying to get in the habit of painting my nails now. So this is a new Avon nail varnish. Let me find the colour of it because it's so nice. Right, the man has gone. But there's still quite a few flying about. So you have to wait for the stuff to like work and then you have to, we have to clean it up tomorrow. So. We've just got to wait now. My husband's just been in there like an idiot and a load came flying out. <laughs> so we've managed to get rid of them. Oh, God, it's like something from a horror film. Oh, wasp flying around your house. It's horrible. But the man did the best that he could. So we just have to hope that tomorrow that they've all gone. <sighs> Why are men so stupid? My husband keeps going back in the loft to check what the wasps are doing. I don't think he will be happy until he gets stung by one or he lets one out and it comes down and ends up stinging me. Ooh, so we feel it's called for emergency chocolate. So I've opened up my lovely little box. It's lovely Victoria sent me last week for my birthday. I cannot believe my birthday was only a week ago. It feels like forever ago. So I've opened this up. It's got beautiful chocolate shoes in it. Look at this. It's adorable. Mm, should I be concerned that my husband went upstairs about 10 minutes ago to check on the wasps again and hasn't come back down? Do I leave him? <laughs> I keep telling him, don't go up there, you know, just leave it. Oh dear, he's left his coffee and everything, so maybe I better go and see if he's all right. Ooh, did you see it? My husband won't be happy till he's actually pulled the whole thing out and stared at it. He's actually obsessed by it. Ugh, horrible. Right. We're taking all three little doggies for a little walk. If Dolly behaves herself. <laughs> ah, right, we've come for a walk in the countryside. Or should we say a bounce? <laughs> I think we need some fresh air and get away from all the wasp action. <laughs> Come on, ladies. And then we have let Winnie off the lead because Winnie's quite well trained on the whistle, as you can see. <laughs> One thing she is good at. <laughs> You're not going in there. Spot my husband. <laughs> I can't even see Winnie. Look at the big old wind turbines, they're so big. Like giants in the sky. 
Siellä. I'm home. Fresh air definitely does you good. You do feel better when you've had a bit of fresh air and a little bit of a walk. So it's now five past five. Ruby's gone to a friend's house for tea. James's gone out with his friends to a car show and then they don't need any tea. So it's just me and my hubby. So I need to find something simple to make. Aww. When all the walking wears you out and you just have to sit down. Alright ladies and gentlemen, there's my tea. So we've got Spaghetti bolognese, which I feel like we only had it the other day, but we've got spaghetti bolognese, a bit of garlic bread and some salad, so off to enjoy it. Mm. Anybody guess what we're watching? <laughs> Good evening. Did you guess right? It was James Bond. I love a bit of James Bond sometimes. It takes me right back to when I was little. And we were trying to work it out. That film is about 40 years old. You can't believe it. So anyway, my dears, I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks for joining me again with my bit of drama, with my wasps and everything else that we get up to. So many, many thanks for being there with me. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got their own Instagram, which is three fluffles. My website is down below and my little Avon shop is also down below. So I love you and leave you. I will see you tomorrow. Let's hope we have a lot, lot of stressful week. See you next week. Bye.